right. getting rich quickly is uh, probably the, the best way to get poor uh, even quicker. <laughs> so, always <laughs> Yes. And I, and I suppose, I imagine that it's actually possible, you know, by a slow, careful accumulation to get to the point where the $50 does become $10,000 or $5,000, but it will take time. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich. Welcome with you to Get Rich with Crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And it is part four of the $1,000 Bitcoin challenge. How are we doing? Yesterday, we had some trades. The, the rules are working and we're going to go through that, make some adjustments, maybe create a new rule. We're going to find out. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, come over to BitTube because I post these videos first on BitTube. Follow me on Twitter, Crypto Rich YT. Join my official Telegram group announcement channel links in the description below and try out call rule if you use my link you will get to use it for free free try free forever with one exchange and i think was it two rules or one rule two rules two, two rules. rules forever I'm right two rules on live and two rules on demo so you have more uh, opportunities to step to test out uh, how the um, the strategies can uh, react to the market great fabulous uh, morning ruben good morning rich here we go, here we go. Now you, Ruben, is one of the team at um, CoinRoom. What we're doing, we're doing a series of videos where we're um, looking at Bitcoin price analysis, Ethereum, maybe Ethereum price analysis occasionally, and we're setting the rules and looking at the performance of the rules and adjusting them as we go inside the $1,000 Bitcoin challenge. So we both put in um, $500 each, and we're going to see how much we're going to get to accumulate, how much that accumulates over time. We All right. more Bitcoin. One more Bitcoin. We want more Bitcoin, doesn't everybody? Now, one of the great features that the rule has is this bot. Now, this is a personalized bot. So I've been tracking my sales because every time the rule gets triggered, I get a message. And the most recent one is this one. The rule buy ETH dip and sell ETH high got triggered. And we'll talk about those in a moment. But let's go. Do you want to share your screen? Let me stop sharing. So what we were saying yesterday, we were uh, observing uh, Bitcoin as uh, um, trading uh, on, uh, on a support. And actually, uh, this is what uh, uh, we witnessed uh, uh, all the day long yesterday. Uh, remember, just like I told you, that every time that uh, Bitcoin has a very big uh, price, both on the upside or on the downside, usually that is followed by a period of uh, sideways moves. Uh, and that's the reason why we launched uh, two days ago our rule uh, selling Bitcoin and buying back. Uh, maybe we can uh, have a look at uh, the rule, uh, uh, how it's performing uh, in, uh, uh, in a moment. But I would also like to have a look at uh, Ethereum because uh, the uh, Ethereum is basically uh, the, the coin that usually leads uh, the, um, the other uh, altcoins uh, um, both on the upside or on the downside. What we were observing yesterday was this uh, triangle, which uh, is uh, coming out absolutely perfectly. You see how yesterday the price always targeted the uh, upper bound, retracing back on the low. And we keep seeing higher lows. So this is uh, very encouraging. And uh, usually this is a sign of reversal. But uh, I've seen this uh, many times, especially recently, uh, it's not said that once this breaks out, uh, you will see immediately a very strong uh, upward move. That's because uh, since this is a very clearly recognizable pattern, remember, a lot of traders uh, will look at this, uh, so a lot of traders will anticipate the, um, the move on the upside, as we were seeing now that there is a, 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 an early attempt of breaking up. But uh, if there is anyone that is uh, waiting for a nice opportunity to uh, unload their position, they know that the market uh, is tend to move on the upside. So, it is, so this is the perfect occasion to unload positions if you want to, if you want to sell. Usually this creates uh, a, a shy move. So we could see probably an initial move on the upside, then retracement, and then some sideways move before the actual uh, strong move uh, um, as, uh, as a reversal. And again, uh, what will drive actually the, uh, the decision in the market will always be Bitcoin. That we see that it's still uh, sleeping on its, uh, on its support. So uh, the rules that we launched uh, also yesterday, I think it's performing relatively good. Maybe we can see 
how uh, they are performing. It's very interesting what you were showing related to the uh, Telegram bot, because uh, um, when a trader is launching an automatic trading strategy, the bot, uh, of course, uh, trades even when you sleep. Uh, you can lose very easily track of what the bot is doing. Instead, getting every time a notification about every trade uh, that uh, gives you the idea of how much the bot is trading and you always just clicking on the link have the opportunity to see the result in real time. So yes. whenever you want, you can pause the rule or you can launch another one if you see that uh, this is performing uh, well. No, that's good, Ruben, because this was at 3.31 in the morning, 4.13, yeah. 4.20, 6.34. I was awake here, but I wasn't looking at the charts. So let's click on the most recent trigger. You see, this is perfectly what we mean, uh, that uh, you can trade also when you sleep. I also woke up this morning uh, with a lot of notifications about all the trades. Basically, I guess that the, t the bots uh, uh, traded more during the night uh, rather than uh, during the day, which is uh, uh, perfectly what we want. Okay, so this is the rule that we set up yesterday, buy ETH dip when it drops, price drops below 0.8%, mm -hmm. and then sell ETH high when it goes up to plus 0.9%, and the performance, uh, $1.02 plus 2.03%. Now that doesn't seem like a lot. I want, I want trades of you know, $10, $20, $100. Well, you know, we need to, we need to bear in mind that uh, when you start a, a trading strategy, uh, you need to keep in mind that you shouldn't trade with all your available capital because this is the, the, the fastest way, the quickest way to burn all and uh, remain with not uh, uh, much left for, uh, for trading. So what we want to do, especially in these times in which market conditions are relatively uh, uncertain, uh, to start with uh, low capital and then gradually allocate more uh, capital to the rules that are actually performing better in those market conditions. So that doesn't sound a lot, but actually in just one day, we put to work uh, $50. Uh, if you can show how much we are trading with this, uh, uh, you can just scroll down the page. Yeah, exactly. So we are buying $50 of Ethereum and then we are selling those $50 uh, when the price increases from the price at which we bought. So only with $50, we earned basically 2% in one day. That doesn't sound much, but if we would have traded the $500, we would have earned $10 in one day, which is always in, uh, in percentage of what we uh, put on the market. So uh, I would always be cautious. If we, if we would have... Uh, $10,000, maybe this allocation would have been 500, and then we would have earned $10 uh, uh, only on this strategy in one day without basically uh, doing much because the strategy uh, was trading uh, while we were, uh, we were sleeping. So this is the thing that you need to consider. Uh, right. Getting rich quickly is uh, probably the, the best way to get poor uh, even quicker. <laughs> so, always <laughs> Yes, and I, and I suppose, I imagine that it's actually possible, you know, by a slow, careful accumulation to get to the point where the $50 does become $10,000 or $5,000, but it will take time. Yeah, slow, also, steady, yeah this is the compound effect. So imagine that you are trading for $50 and then you arrive to earning, a, oh, with this strategy, $55, though. maybe you earn 10%. So they, these are $55. Then you increase the amount for trading of $55 and you are still confident that the strategy is working well. So that means that the percentage of your gain will be calculated not anymore on $50, but on $55. So this is the compound effect. The more you earn, you put that on to, to work on the market and then your return will increase exponentially. Fabulous. Okay, good. All right. So, what do you want us to do next? Any uh, let's see also. Let's see also how the other rule that we kept running uh, uh, performed. So this one, sell BTC and buy back plus two point four percent. It's live. Uh, this one, buy ETH plus two point zero three percent. And there's the net profit, $2.62. Now, remember, Ruben, we get to split this, so that's $1.31 each. Wow, let's talk. <laughs> Not in London. <laughs> but it's certainly more than I would make trading myself, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and it's a whole... The other thing I notice is this is stress-free. Free, I can set and forget. I'm not inclined to go and look at the charts. 
and every yeah. now and then I get a trigger from the bot and then I might have a look. Okay, so which also is- remember also another thing that I would like to stress uh, that uh, we said that these are very, very uh, uncertain market condition. These are the condition in which uh, uh, it's more difficult to trade manually. You don't know what the price is doing because every time that you see the price going up, you get excited. So you are tempted to buy. And then on the opposite to when the price is going down, you say, oh, we are on the support. Maybe it can break the, uh, below. So maybe it's better to sell a bit. This is something that uh, psychology that uh, uh, get involved during your manual trading and that you absolutely need to uh, take away from your trading strategy. And that's ca- where uh, the, the efficiency of the bot comes. Okay, great. All right. So what do you want us to do next? So um, let me see how many times uh, the sell BTC plus buyback uh, uh, was executed. It says here executed six times. Okay, scroll down. Uh, We got, I guess, uh, uh, three, two or three, I was seeing uh, uh, from the um, from the Telegram bot executions only during the night. So one, one thing that we can do is just to click on this rule on edit on top because we only have four execution left. So would be better maybe to just, just keep it going. Uh, scroll it down. We will launch it again with other 10 executions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe we can, you can add uh, here a slash, maybe slash two, because so we remember that this is uh, the second time that we launched this rule. Okay, uh, what did I call it? Uh, yeah, just write slash two. Okay, launch. Yeah. BTC has price increased by 0.5% within 30 minutes. Sell $50 of BTC to my USDT wallet as a market order. And then if BTC has a price decreased by 0.8% from price at which we sold by $50 of that coin with my tether as a market order. Run it 10 times and start it immediately. Now it says the yeah. current balance of the selected uh, coin is too low. I guess that we don't have Bitcoin, but we can launch this rule and then just later we can adjust the balance to make sure that the rule will have uh, enough uh, BTC to be, to be sold. Great. And I know if I want to see the BTC balance, it's I uh, just click, uh, you know, no, you know, it's very easy. Just uh, go back, click on rules, uh, go back yeah. on the dashboard. Yeah. It's very easy. Uh, you can click on the wallet on top. This is a very cool feature that we have. Uh, the, the green wallet next to the bell. Yeah. In real time, you see, actually we have uh, $50, but it's uh, 49.59. It's slightly below the uh, $50 uh, limit. That's fine actually, because the, the bot will, uh, will still uh, uh, sell what he found uh, and he would make the, the rounding. So that's uh, absolutely uh, okay for, uh, for now. Cool. Uh, one other thing I would like to do, since the, the rule with the Ethereum was performing uh, uh, quite well yesterday, you can click on the rule. Yeah. This is another very uh, interesting feature. You can click on duplicate. So that means sometimes it's tedious that you need to create a rule from scratch. So if we already have this parameter set up, there is no need to recreate another rule from scratch. Just here, I wanted to run a, a, a similar rule on uh, Monero. So let's uh, switch Ethereum ops, uh, go back to event. Okay. So let's select Monero. Uh, in this case, uh, maybe we can set up, uh, uh, we can be a bit more greedy. Uh, decrease by let's say 1.5 percent and uh, in a time frame of one hour cool Uh, let's also switch uh, in the action ethereum to monero okay so what are 50 it's okay uh, we, we have balance in USDT, so that it's totally okay. Just switch uh, Ethereum also here to Monero. Okay, now why, why Monero? 
Uh, Monero is uh, a coin that it's very, very correlated to Bitcoin. If you see from the, from the top at the beginning of September, uh, Monero versus Bitcoin had a drop of uh, less than 10%, roughly 9%. That compared to the bloodbath that uh, we saw uh, generally on other altcoins, uh, that it's uh, um, very negligible. Other coins lost uh, 30 to 40% versus, uh, versus Bitcoin. So in this way, we are betting on uh, buying the dip and selling uh, uh, on price increases of a coin that already uh, show um, very good strength in the market. Also, maybe if you want, we can uh, later show the chart of Monero and see how also there the pattern is even um, more solid than the one that we saw on, uh, on Ethereum. Okay. Yet, uh, we are trading Ethereum because as a more upside, there is a lot of excitement uh, regarding to Ethereum, so it's, there is more... Uh, um, uh, let's say uh, upside the potential. So if this coin is a price increase here, we want a price increase of 1.5%. Uh, uh, let's see what was the stop loss uh, was 1.2. Uh, we can set up something like 1.1. Let's be conservative. 1.1? One one? Uh, just one, just one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, because Perfect. we've got 1.5 if it decreases by 1.5 and then if it increases by 1.5 <clears throat> so we want a stop loss of 1% from price at which we bought okay yeah. so just just uh, um, uh, remind our viewers that uh, in this way we are setting up a strategy that buys and already has a preset take profit and stop loss on the strategy this is something that uh, worked perfectly yesterday on the strategy on ethereum the ethereum yesterday had a price drop of 3% even more 3%. We were saved from that drop. So our rule um, was still in profit because of that stop loss. So there was a price increase we bought, but we jumped out from the market before far further downside risk. So in this way, you make sure that you are keep trading, but just scalping small uh, price percentages. Great, okay. Uh, just uh, um, name uh, the, the rule. Let's say that we are buying uh, uh, XMR read deep. Launch. Perfect. Uh, we will have uh, a short, quick review of all the parameters. Everything looks good. Execute run 10 times, start immediately. Let's go. I like how yeah. clear this all is. The design is very, very neat and clean. It's now live. Let's have a quick look at the uh, Monero chart. Do you want to show us that? So as you see, remember, Bitcoin was moving sideways, slightly on the downside. Ethereum was uh, forming an uh, ascending uh, triangle. Monero instead is much more clear, lower, uh, higher lows. As you mm. see, this is developing. Also here, we see that uh, the volume is increasing on this spike. So we can absolutely, at this point, uh, draw this horizontal line. This could be a small, some sort of cup and handle. This is the cup and this is the handle. This is a very common pattern that uh, forms uh, just below uh, a breakout. So all these things uh, makes me think uh, that there is some uh, uh, solidity in, uh, in the, in, uh, on the coin. So that's why I want to start trading uh, uh, coins that uh, gives me these uh, um, signs of uh, um, positive development. Fabulous. And I can see there is an ascending triangle with Monero. Very, very clear. And then along here at the bottom with the higher lows, you've got a, a pretty strong uptrend. Great. Yeah. Also, okay. also there, you see that there is some sort of uh, head and shoulder, reverse and the shoulder. These are the patterns that uh, I prefer the most to see maybe this is a 15 minutes chart maybe if we move to a one hour chart uh, this is a bit more clear you see one shoulder second shoulder and this is the end with the uh, with the lower low with the uh, lowest low and so we are um, uh, pushing uh, knocking on the on the resistance so let's see how it goes 
let's see how it goes. Ruben, listen, thank you so much. Look forward to uh, finding out tomorrow how this is doing and how much more Bitcoin we're accumulating with the $1,000 Bitcoin challenge. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, put them in the description below. If you use my affiliate link, you'll get to use this for free with two rules on the real account and two rules on the demo account on a one exchange. And I'm doing this on Binance. And I've also got an affiliate link on Binance, which will give you a 10% bonus on your trading fees. Uh, thank you so much. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Ruben signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.